All right. Morning. So we are <sighs> such a comfy seat. So I'm gonna go ahead. I need to get the tractor over to get that pallet of dirt off. Um, I'm gonna get my forks put back on real quick. I went ahead and dropped the brush hog yesterday because we're gonna do our little black tank empty. Get this thing fired up. Get over there, get the forks on. Get her pallet of dirt off because when I go up north, I'll need that trailer anyways. And uh, she could work on some of her planting because we need to get some plants into the dirt. And I'm going to start working on the electrical. Uh, Nice long drive. Give me my wrench out of here. Maybe. Okay. So yeah, pretty simple process. Uh, I mean, maybe not as fast as a total quick detach, but it uh, it works pretty good. Fight me that bad. Here's one. she wrote for that project well that part of it anyways so like I said pretty simple easy only took a couple minutes and get them on get them tightened uh, so far I think I've only had one time and they didn't fall off they just kind of loosened up but I was I was kind of digging with them not really what you're supposed to do um, but I was trying to, what was I doing that day? Oh, I think it's when I was trying to move some rocks. Um, I went ahead and dug them in and to get the rocks up over where we were building the deck. And eh, but they held up pretty good. So the real trick's gonna be getting this pallet. Uh, the guy there, luckily, you know, is, I didn't want it behind, obviously, so you want it up, and I had them push it a little further forward, so I may have to, my thought is, is if these forks won't reach at least the end of the pallet enough to pull it backwards, then I've got the chain right there, I'll wrap the chain around the pallet part and pull it back, and then, uh, then I can get it on the forks and then use the forks to get it over there. Uh, it was kind of the other big major reason why I wanted the pallet of it. Um, so I'm not handling individual bags. 
So I'm just going to set you up. You can witness my shenanigans. Let's see how this goes. May or may not help to take the tailgate off first. I don't know. It's a thought anyways, right? Okay, well, too much. I kind of wondered, I mean, the fork's technically only rated for 2,500 pounds and this is minimally 26 and that's when the bags aren't wet because they'd been there. So uh, I kind of wondered and them being shorter forks, you know, the tractor, so I, the tractor itself could lift it uh, except for the pallet weighs so much it was actually lifting my back tires up so i'll uh i'm gonna unload probably half of this pallet i guess by hand and we'll uh we'll see what we can do from there not what i wanted to do but adapt and overcome right So I'm sure you've seen it in the timeline. I remembered I had another pallet. And why not? Why not grab the other pallet? I just had to remember where it was at. Of course it was after I filled the bucket full. So I'm gonna take a couple more of them bags out of the bucket for now. Or I might just leave them and I'm gonna move this pallet, go stage it, and then I should be able to come back and get this one right here oh should be light enough i mean i think i took about half the pallet off so to me it looks half and then between the bucket which will help pull some of the weight back and this i mean it should be good the the bucket arms rated for 3500 pounds so uh i kept the forks below what the rating of the lift arm and bucket was but I took the brush hog off thinking you know I need to be able to move around a little better and not having that thing tail swing around and take everything out uh, but I guess maybe I should have left it on maybe in the future if I start doing this stuff or if I find that I'm getting too much weight on the front and you know the big thing is like when I go to lift big logs um, I may have to get I know they make like a grader box or a weight box that I can put in the back and fill up with dirt rocks whatever just put some weight back there and then the old rear end doesn't do the whole hey i don't want to touch eh, we'll see so let's get this moved over where they're supposed to be Man, I made it that far. All right, so, cause all these, so they have the leaves, sticks, twigs, all that stuff in it. And then she put a layer of the sawdust to help hold moisture in the soil, 
do the whole composting process. So I'll set you up here. Super exciting work. I'm gonna go ahead and make those to there. <laughs> That part's done. So now let's go see. Should have enough off that pallet. Uh, this, if you haven't used these style forks either, without being all scientific on you, it's putting in the, on my pivot point, my waypoint out further. Like the bucket's rated for 3,500, the forks are rated 2,500, but. The further you go away from the bucket and or the pivot point of the bucket you kind of lose that and that's where like i said the rear end of the tractor was flipping up so eh, if i had to move a little bit i mean that wasn't as bad i'm glad i didn't have to unload the whole thing but let's uh Yes, she did it. Little, little modified from what I planned on doing, but hey, still got it done. And that's what I wanted in the end was, um, and actually now it gives me two pallets. So I guess, uh, I guess that's not a bad thing at the end of the day, uh, having dirt on two pallets because I can move them around. Uh, that one pallet's probably going to be, should be a little bit more than what mama needs right now to finish topping off those buckets uh we've got it to the point now where and we've noticed that they settled so maybe a lesson learned already uh for next year is we knew everything was loose and it was going to compact with having the leaves and sticks and stuff like that um and then we put the bag of dirt on it but then we never what we should have done was she's got it down right now with the how we fill them it basically takes one bag of the topsoil maybe one and a half um really looking at the ones that we've had for a while and they've gotten rain and compacted um probably could have got away with two maybe fill them up a little bit more with the dirt and then let it rain or water it or whatever and then set for a couple days uh and let that soil let everything kind of settle and then you can come back in right before you're going to plant them and stir up the soil because you you want you don't want your soil compacted uh you know you don't want to sit there and tamp it down you want them roots your plants to be able to get out and about so yep um well that chore and task is done for the day so that's good it's got her dirt close to 
where she needs it. I'm going to work on, start working on the electrical.